Something huge is about to happen this Monday, January 16th. It involves Saturn. Saturn mostly creates endings, and we make peace with those endings. It brings back karma from the present life, not past lives. It's a very slow-moving planet. It's a very powerful karmic planet, passing through each sign in about two and a half years each. And now, Saturn is going to change signs and move from Scorpio to Sagittarius. For Sagittarius ascendants, Saturn has been in their 12th house for two and a half years. And Saturn actually is a Caraca for the 12th house, which means it has similar qualities to the 12th house. Saturn is the recluse, and the 12th house is called lonely places. That could mean caves or ashrams or just staying at home all the time and meditating or reading. So for those Sagittarius ascendants, the qualities of a Saturn will affect their whole life in general because it's entering their first house, the most important house. It creates separation, endings, and orderliness. And it does this slowly and steadily. That's nothing to worry about because it can teach us good lessons. It can rearrange our whole life and make it more orderly. Endings can be good sometimes. It can be the ending to bad things. What will also affect them is the qualities of the two houses Saturn owns. That will be their second house and their third house. The second house is sources of income, property, and home comforts. The third house is awakening and independence. So these two kind of go together. All these qualities will be located in the first house for them, which represents new beginnings and life as a whole, everything summed up. But even more exciting is that Saturn moves across the border into Sagittarius. It is in what is called a magic point, a karmic point. There are 30 degrees in a sign, and uh, at 29 degrees Scorpio, with only one degree to end the sign, Saturn touches this karmic point. Then to zero degrees, at the border between the two signs, and then one degree Sagittarius. This two degree area is the karmic point, right on the border of those two signs. There are only three of these places in the Kundali, uh, the zodiac. It's a point between a watery sign and a fiery sign. So Scorpio is a watery sign, Sagittarius is the fiery sign. Uh, the other two magic points are from uh, Cancer to Leo and Pisces to Aries. These are all water and fire signs. If you look at a circular chart and draw lines between the three points where these lie, you'll see an equilateral triangle. This happens only once every seven and a half years at one of these three points. But for Sagittarius Ascendants, this time it's moving from the 12th house, Saturn is moving from the 12th house, to the first house. It's very special because Saturn, the great karmic planet, is moving from the darkness of the twelfth to the light of the first, from death to birth. This is only the second time this has happened in um, our lifetime, in this generation, moving into Sagittarius. It's happened to these other points, but not here for Sagittarius. The first time it happened for Sagittarius was December 8th, 1987. So, for those of you who are Sagittarius, isn't it? if you look back at that time, you can see what happened to your life moving from darkness to light. However, this time, unlike 1987, it's going to happen three times in a row, crossing that point. It's going to it's going to make not one, but three passes through the karmic point, because after the first pass, Saturn is going to slow down and stop, 
and on April 5th becoming stationary, it'll then go into retrograde and back again over that karmic point. And then it'll stop and go forward again and go over that karmic point again. These three passes, and remember every time it slows down, it stops just before it changes direction. It's called a stationary. And when it does become stationary, it becomes very, very powerful at that stationary point. And uh, it's getting great power from just being in the karmic area also between the two signs. So it's going to be very, very powerful. So by June 6th, Saturn will continue to go back enough to touch that one degree point again in Sagittarius. It will continue to go retrograde deeply into that karmic point to the border of zero degrees between the two signs on June 20th, right on the zero point. Then it'll keep going retrograde to eventually leave that zone at 29 degrees Scorpio, late in Scorpio, on July 4th. Then, on August 24th, it will become stationary and powerful. Then go forward again, touch the 29 degrees Scorpio again, October 13th, go through the karmic area, across the border into Sagittarius, and finish its work there at one degree Sagittarius, and that'll be on November 5th. And remember the second and third pass did not happen in 1987. The first time it came to this point in this lifetime was 1987. So this time the results should be even more powerful with three passes over that karmic point and last a lot longer. The whole process of these three passes lasts from Monday, January 16th to November 5th. That's eight months and almost three weeks. And all of that time for Sagittarius Ascendance, Saturn will be moving back and forth between the darkness and the light of the twelfth house of death and the first house of rebirth, creating a new person and a great awakening.